Hello lightning bugs, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on this makeup look right here. And it's super simple and easy, but it's just a good like pop of color and something a little dramatic. I used two eyeshadows to do this entire look. So if you like a little blue moment, a little, you know, dead moment, a little icy, you know, I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but if you like this look and you wanna see how I did it, please keep watching, bye. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with the P. Louise uh, base in Rumor number two. And I like to use my finger because it really emulsifies the um, primer into my skin. And yeah, also it's too lazy to find a brush. So I'm going to start with Electric Eel by MAC. It's a single shadow or they have a palette actually with all their bright shades. And I'm using a very small packing brush in order to pack this color on. Because even though it's very vibrant, um, it does need like more work than... Um, other colors it doesn't have a lot of uh, fallout or anything so the pigment is on point but it just needs a little bit more work and so i'm gonna go ahead and pack that into my outer corners and a little bit above my crease then i'm gonna go into this color by mac as well it's called aqua and with that same brush i'm gonna go ahead again work that into my inner corner and above my crease as well i like to do this because uh, it makes my eyes look bigger when i pull the color up and higher than my actual lid and so i'm gonna go ahead and work it into the crease as well and a little bit over that dark blue the electric eel in order to blend out so yes it does take a lot of blending and a lot of um building in the color but i don't mind that because this these colors last amazingly long on the eye Next, I'm actually going to go into the Electric Eel color again with a fluffy brush this time in order to work it into my crease and make that kind of like cat eye shape for this eyeshadow um, look. Sorry, I keep getting distracted by Married at First Sight. That's my, that's my show. Like, that's my show. I love it. So anyways, yes, I went ahead and out now on a small packing brush, I'm going to go back in with that electric eel and create more of a shape into my crease as opposed to just packing it. Now I'm bringing it into the crease to like kind of hug the, the lid. You, you know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? So next I am going to go ahead with a bl um, blank, a blank a clean makeup brush and brush everything out and then back in with the electric eel we're building here slowly it's like a house brick by brick color by color um then i'm gonna go back in and create more of that shape again i am absolutely obsessed with this brush it's like the smallest tiniest packing brush but it does so much and then finally i'm gonna go ahead and pop that color back uh aqua out with uh, a brush now i am gonna go ahead and attempt and i heavily emphasize the word attempt to do a wing liner there's good days and bad days i don't even know but for some reason it was really hard for me to do a liner that this day and um yeah it's like a mess and it's like a hot mess so um this is me attempting to do a liner and i will come back when it is actually on so you won't see this shit show so after many horrifying attempts i finally got my liner the way i wanted it now i'm mixing my hourglass concealer in the shade light with my um, MAC concealer the studio fix 24 hour smooth wear and I'm mixing those two together because one is too light and the other one's a little too dark so you know perfect match to mix those two mix those two and I love the finish that they both have um, so then I am gonna go ahead and again <laughs> still with the liner um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Cody air spots uh, powder in order to bake under the eye because my eyes do tend to crease it does not matter which concealer it is which product it is like my eyes just crease it's just the way my face shape is and it is what it is you know nothing wrong with a crease or two and so next i'm gonna go ahead and with this chroma line oh i should know this um this liner it's like a concealer liner but it's uh, eyeliner as well and by mac 
next with my dollar store lashes you know i gotta i love those finally i'm gonna go ahead and buff the bottom of my eyes my lower lash line in order to give my eyes a little bit more dimension make them look a little bit bigger we're going for that like russian sex doll kind of like just came for the ukraine kind of look you know what i mean i don't know i guess that's just the feeling that i get with this look because it's like the blue with the blonde hair and yeah so totally what i'm going for like snow bun bunny you know what i mean and then now i'm gonna go in with aqua and um buff out that electric eel color that i just put on under my lash line this is my favorite brush ever like i'm just the more i watch this video the more i'm obsessed with it um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and blush 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 oh wow <laughs> words um buff out the lower lash line and you're gonna see me make crazy faces for the time being and then eyebrows done slayed next i'm gonna be using the fenty cream contour um in the shade i think mocha or the second shade the second one I'm, I'm awful guys but i actually absolutely love those dang contour cream contours they're amazing next i'm using my mac concealer to you know as kind of foundation just to kind of cover the redness i didn't want to put on like a full-blown foundation today and then finally gonna go ahead with the cody air spud and to set everything i really wanted like a matte ish kind of look again just something about russia like anna karenita times makes me think of like matte foundation super super like sultry um next i'm gonna go ahead and highlight with the soft and gentle by mac it is their mineralized skin finish um that was my sister throwing it back and then i'm gonna go ahead with divine wine or summertime summertime wine by fenty their cream blushes which i am absolutely obsessed with like they knocked it out of the park with these cream products finally i'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and contour my face with the mac contour kits this is the shade sculpt in the palette finally with my subculture lip liner and the um color what is this gash i'm gonna go ahead and use that as my lip and then i'm gonna pop some of the fenty concealer stick on my lip as well because i really wanted it to be super super pale finally finish up with my fix plus and my morphe setting spray and we are good to go you'll see me in the alps that's not russia is it whatever you're gonna see me in like russia with the little skirts and stuff like that russian doll realness please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye